and so inform you that what you can and can't do in national parks. Cool, mate. Right. See ya. Okay, this is my plan for the weekend. Liam has very kindly offered me to come up to his dad's farm. His dad has a farm. Liam has a project he's working on at the moment where he's got to take a couple of photos for a company. So he wanted to take the photos for this company out in a nature scenic sort of area, which is obviously not where we live in the city. So we're gonna have to travel out to Fuxville. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call it that. That's the name of the suburb. Fuxville. So we're going to travel out to Fuxville tonight to go and get prepared and whatever tonight and then tomorrow morning wake up for sunrise and head over to a few locations to shoot this product. But I figured while we're taking photos for this company, we might as well take the opportunity to take some photos for ourselves. I just don't know what we should shoot. <laughs> Q&A. Liam, yeah. what's your favourite dinosaur? Stegosaurus Rex. That's not even a dinosaur. <laughs> Lamont, what's your favourite food to eat after midnight? Ramen. <laughs> well, that's a pretty... That's fair enough. Alright, Liam. Alright, what? Well, would you rather... This is going to be one of your fucked up would you rather's. <laughs> would you rather retile your whole house or headbutt a brick wall? Retile my whole house because I don't actually no, I'd headbutt a brick wall. You'd headbutt a brick wall. Yeah, obvious, yeah, like no. obvious. We're gonna never, do it hard. Oh well you never said that. We're gonna do it really hard. You, you never said how hard though. Oh well now I did. I fucking headbutt <laughs> the wall still. I don't it's currently 6 30 in the morning and we're about to head over to the first spot. And I feel like pure shit. Last night we were up just talking shit until like midnight. And so I got fuck all sleep. Hey, do you guys know where the spot is? Fuck off. So we've got a flare again. It, it'll actually be a really dope shot if we can pull this off. There's actually a log just over there that I want to stand on, set the flare off on the log, and get the shot. The problem is that there's a river right there, which usually is a lot lower, but because it's been raining quite a bit lately, it's actually filled up quite high. So, for one, if I fall off the log, I'm gonna get fucked on because I'm gonna fall straight into a river. And second of all, we have to stand quite a bit further back than usual to get the shot because obviously the water level's quite high. So we're gonna have to walk back a fair bit just to get the photo. But anyway, we need to go over to the log itself and suss it out to make sure that it's not too slippery for me to stand on and actually figure out what kind of composition we want to get for this shot. Maybe if we get, what if we get someone else shooting it from closer up and we get two shots? Yeah, done. Surely not. Could even shoot it from this way looking back because we got that light right over there. Might have to go back there to get the whole flare in the shot. Dude, I reckon this is a way better shot right here. If you look at the log right there and then going back, and then plus you can be way closer to it as well. You get a wide shot right I here. It looks don't you think the lighting's better here as well? Dude, even look at the lighting on that log right there as yeah. well. It's all perfect, all right. man. I think we shoot this angle for sure. You know when you light the flare and all the smoke builds up and everything? Yeah. I'm scared that if I light it, it's just gonna all build up and just I'm just gonna be a clob. Of smoke and you can't even see no, me. No, no, because it'll rise up, bro. Okay. Think about it. The smoke rises, right? We'll figure it out. I Fuck it, whatever. Yeah. Well, it's not that bad. Smoke is perfect, bro. It's so fucked up how good this shot is. All right. Dan, you ready? Yeah, you're good. Well, one, ready? Yeah. Everyone, ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be fucked up, bro. Now wave it around, bro. Wave it around. Circle. Oh, wait, if you just if you just like hold it up for a sec, 
And do a circle in three, two, one, go, circle. Good. Talk to there. me, bro. What do I need? Um, let's do like one of the front ones. That's it. All right, now, if you hold it down to your right, down to your right, yeah. Can it's you stand in the middle, bro? Stand back in the middle. Is that sick? Good yeah. shots? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, show me the photos. <laughs> show me the photos. Yeah. Bro, look at these, ready? Fuck. Holy shit, it's a perfect circle! How yeah, fucking good, look at that perfect circle. Fuck! I'm literally shaking, that was so scary just standing on that log, because like the whole time I was just scared I was going to fall in. I'm so happy we got the shot, I'm just so keen to go home now and edit the photos. Okay, so overall that was actually a really good photo shoot. We didn't actually take that many photos for the distance that we traveled. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's have a look at the photos that we got. First up, we got this one. And I really love this photo because obviously that blue puffer jacket that I got really stands out against all the green. And that lightweight, lightweight, that light ray coming through as well is really awesome. And I think that really, obviously like we found out that there was like a, obviously we saw that there was light bit, you know, of the, the light ray was coming on the log, so we were like, let's let's just get a photo of you standing on the log and it'll be sick, which it was. And later in editing, I enhanced that light ray even more by getting a graduated filter, by dragging it from the bottom right of the image up towards the top and then lowering the exposure. And that really helps bring the image together, I think. It doesn't matter, fuck that image. The next image is the key image and it's the flare shot, which holy fucking shit, look at that, mate. I, I've lit that many flares now. We always do like circles or try to do some cool shapes or something with it, which I, I literally have like a perfect circle in this shot, which I'm so proud of myself for doing. And for the fact that I had literally no room to walk around on because I was standing on that log. I mean, it was somewhat safe, I guess. Like the, the, the log wasn't that slippery. It was a little bit slippery. No, it was fucked. Let's be honest. It was, it was fucked. I had no room to walk around. And at the top of the image as well, you can see the sun that's you know, creating all this cool effect over the top of the smoke and everything, all this cool lighting. It's like backlit the image, which is awesome. I find nature photography really hard compared to urban photos, so I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Anyway, that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope I taught you something new today. If you did like this video, leave a like down below, and help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, I'll see you next time. <laughs>